Good evening, I'm Dave Savini. We begin with breaking news. After serving time for the murder of Laquan McDonald, former police officer Jason Van Dyke is one step closer to freedom and a return to Illinois. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is here with what we know about his upcoming release. Sabrina. Hey, Dave. Well, he'd been sentenced to seven years for the death of Laquan McDonald, but now three years into his sentence, Jason Van Dyke is going home. Sources telling CBS 2 News that he's headed home from an undisclosed location in Illinois to be released from prison. Now, Van Dyke was convicted of second degree murder and 16 counts of aggravated battery, one count for each of the 16 times he shot McDonald back on October 20th, 2014. Activists are now pushing for the case to be reopened at the federal level, saying this quick release is the opposite of justice and accountability. He gets out on, you know, good behavior. So what is good behavior when we have um, you know, hundreds of uh, persons who are, you know, convicted uh, and are spending much more time for for less crimes. So it is a very it's a it's a it's an incredible um, disappointment. There will be a day of civil disobedience on Thursday. That's the day Van Dyke is set to be released. Now, Rainbow Push is organizing a march, and other activists are saying they're going to be doing things like shutting down the subway on Thursday. We're live in the Streetside studio. I'm Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.